a very good morning and warm welcome to the first hr conclave organized by the marathwada mitra mandals institute of management education research and training this year the theme of the first hr conclave is transforming human capital at times of war and at times of natural calamities a country goes through and witnesses a lot of destruction but the human undying spirit forces us to rise again roads railways airports highways are reconstructed economies revive inflation and other things come under control but the only thing which cannot be brought back is the lives of our beloved ones which are lost once and for all the true treasure of any country are its key people from kashmir to kanyakumari and from arunachal to gujarat we indians come in various sizes shapes colors religions and languages but each of our wonderful state has given us some great artists dignitaries of the dais principals and heads of the various departments of the marathwada mitra mandal group faculty colleagues staff members and students from imert as well as mmcoe mba department once again a very good morning and warm welcome to the first hr conclave transforming human capital three simple words but at the same time three magical words transforming human capital now according to the oxford dictionary capital is defined as money etc with which a company starts a business another meaning is accumulated wealth and wealth has always been perceived and picturized in the form of money resources riches property etc and traditionally the rich have always treated people working for them as a means to achieve and maximize their wealth for them the color size race religion salary working conditions of their employees never mattered what mattered to them was these people maximized their most precious vitamin vitamin m that's money it is only in the modern business world especially in the knowledge driven industries that which have broadened their mindset today's businesses are treating individuals and humans as capital and capital is something which can be quantified and can be valued in money form but how can we quantify or fix the value of the human capital in an organization after all humans are not products or services with a price tag with an mrp with a buy one get one free offer so again the question remains how can we quantify or fix the value of human capital in an organization an article published on im bangalore's website summarizes that experts in the hr field have tried to create various models to quantify human capital some were based on output like salary training etc and some on the long term benefits employee behavior etc the gist of the study was there is no full proof model to quantify human capital but though there is no full proof model to quantify human capital it is being increasingly acknowledged across all industries that humans or employees are at times one of the most key capital of an organization today's business world is full of ups and downs and companies which were once market leaders are now either bankrupt or sold off to some other companies to name a few nokia enron lehman brothers general motors are now either bankrupt or sold off the pioneers of mobile phones motorola was sold off to google a, a few years back and google further sold it to lenovo 
So the question arises, what went wrong? How did some of these industry giants, market leaders, pioneers with extremely deep pockets go through such hardship and difficulty? Let me ask you a question. Does the most advanced fighter plane in the world, piloted by an average pilot, succeed? Or does an average fighter plane with an exceptional pilot succeed? The answer is very obvious. It is the people of a nation or an organization that defines it. It is the people of the organization, its human capital, that will make or break its present and future. It is the human capital that will create history with sometimes inadequate and very less capital. India's Mars Orbitary Mission achieved success in less than the budget of a Hollywood movie. Sometimes exceptional individuals cannot work together as a team, but at times average individuals come together and work exceptionally as a team and an organization is after all a team. They say humans if they so desire can move mountains. What it requires is a strong desire, a lot of perspiration and a little bit of inspiration. And sometimes even the tiniest of individuals can inspire the others to do and make the impossible possible. Let's watch an AV where a tiny individual inspires the others. सर आपके लिए उस पार कार का इंतजाम किया है सर आइए सर एक एक कल कल Honorable Secretary, Marathwada Mitra Mandal, Principal B.G. Zadhav, Sir. Hi, 
आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट प्रिंसिपल बी जी जाधव सर ऑनरेबल सेक्रेटरी मराठवाड़ा मित्र मंडल टू वेलकम आर चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर भावे I now request our director Dr Shri Ram Nirlekar to address the gathering. Good morning one and all. Honorable Dr S V Bhave chief guest for this first HR conclave. Honorable principal जाधव सर सेक्रेटरी मराठवाडा मित्रमंडळ ग्रुप दी रिप्रेझेंटेटिव्ह फ्रॉम कॉर्पोरेट प्रेझेंट नाव मी सनिता बोरुलकर ऑल माय फेलो डिरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम एम एम सी ओ ई एम एम आय टी एच ओ डीज फॅकल्टी मेंबर्स अल्युमनाय स्टुडंट्स it's indeed a matter of uh, a proud privilege to welcome you all on this beautiful morning the occasion of the first hr conclave which marathwada mitra mandal is organizing when i say first it's the first edition it clearly indicates that there are going to be multiple editions of this hr conclave year after year and it would emerge i am 100% sure it would emerge as a platform as an event most sought after by academic as well as hr fraternity from the industry i was listening very carefully to the opening remark of my dynamic and talented colleague your host for the day vivek dighe professor vivek dighe and he very articulately narrated the importance of human capital in this dynamic business world we are in a knowledge society many many years we experienced the industrial revolution we were into the industrial age at that point in time then came a phase wherein the world got transformed from industrial age to the information age and suddenly people became the differentiating factor the buzzword today is of course technology as well as talent we are now going to experience soon the third revolution which is actually knocking our door if i ask you a question what travels fastest in the physical world i am sure the answer would be quick and simple light speed of light is highest but the scientists are working and they have almost found out a particle which travels almost at a speed of light that's called neutrino and for your information world's biggest neutrino lab is located in india in south india now why i'm bringing this point over here the reason is very simple as we experience the industrial revolution we experience the information age probably we are going to experience another transformation maybe in the years to come in the decades to come the definition of business is going to change totally who knows if we really succeed in inventing and inventing a particle which travels faster than light we may be able to see the future the dimension is going to change equations are going to change the sciences the physical sciences like physics chemistry biotechnology are radically changing and our science which we are learning that is management science the social science is actually is a connector to all these actual physical sciences unless we change our mindset unless we change our systems structures we are not going to succeed in this fast changing world 
and that is the very basic purpose behind organizing this HR conclave. Your faculty members take good efforts, huge efforts in teaching you different aspects of HR, different aspects of business management, business administration. We try to give you experiential learning. We have introduced many new pedagogies which you have experienced recently including outdoor management training programs. But today we are here to listen to the people who actually practice this knowledge in the industry. And I am 100% sure that their thoughts are going to enrich us in terms of our valuable experiences in the field of HR. I sincerely thank uh, management of Marathwada Mitra Mandal Group, particularly Zadho sir, for extending the wholehearted support and cooperation in actually organizing this long-awaited HR conclave. I will not be taking much of your time. We are here and we are eager to listen to the top-notch people from industry in the from the fraternity of HR. I once again welcome Honorable Chief Guest, distinguished dignitaries on the dais, of the dais and students and look forward for tremendous knowledge throughout the day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And as you rightly mentioned, uh, this event would not have seen the light of the day without the encouragement and support of our Honorable Secretary, Principal B.G. Zadav, sir. I now request him to come forward and address us. Our management institute has organized the first HR conclave and we are here for the inaugural session. Today's chief guest Dr. S. V. Bhave, Senior VP HR, Bharat Forge Limited, Madam Barulkar, Principals of our Engineering Colleges, Law College, Architecture, Interior, very dynamic director who has just joined and has changed and has brought the transformation in IMRT. So, Dr. Nerlekar, students from both the colleges, friends. Today we have given much importance for the HR, that is human resources. Generally we talk, when I was a student of that particular school, it was a good school because the teachers were committed but now, now there is nothing in that school. Even in the college also, with the pass of students say, the college was good when we were the students but now that time of type teachers, principals are not there and therefore the building is there but um, the academic, HR, manpower is not there and therefore uh, though the college name is there but um, it's not group good from society's point of view. We talk about the industries also, that such and such industries performance has gone down because the workers were very committed, the MD, chairman, so on, they were very committed, the systems were different, but now the company is not in uh, competitive situation. Friends, when we talk about the companies, schools, colleges or whatever the organizations, the organization remain only because of the human resources. If the people are committed, dedicated, they are having care and concerns to the organization, then only the organization will prevail. Today, what we are doing, Dr. Bhavi, he is going to deliver a talk. He will share his experiences. Then Madam uh, uh, Borunkar will also share her experiences. Then Mr. Gaurav Ambekar, then Rahul Dev. These various personalities from the industries having 
huge and vast experience they are coming here we people are from theory and they people are from practical field so today what we are bringing theory and practice is brought together and once theory and practice is brought together we people particularly the students they will come to know what is going on in the industrial era we people are worried about only one thing management and the college is worried whether the intake will be full and uh, if the intake is not filled then they will say what what will happen to the budget against 60 only 20 are there 10 are there what will those students who join the school what will happen whether we will get our uh, job that means what will be the replacement as soon as they come they will inquire about the placement officer then uh, what was the last year's uh, placement so instead of uh, discussing all the who is the placement officer and what was the last year's uh, placements etc what we will have to do is we will have to see that the finished product is competitive is employable we have many mbas industries also wants people particularly those who have completed their mba but the companies tell they are up to the not mark and we are telling that the industry situation is not good and therefore there is no employment so there is some gap in between uh, so if um, we people through such personalities ha- uh, having vast experience we come to know that what is exactly required to be uh, employable once we uh, have the employable candidates competitive candidates then there is no problem then we'll get definitely uh, the jobs so our uh, first aim objective is to produce the final product particular means students in such a way that they will be employable they will be competitive and they will having all the knowledge what is going on in the uh, actual era so we will have to change with the change if we don't with change with the change then we will lag behind will not be in the competition and therefore such type of efforts uh, are necessary i congratulate the director and his team for arranging uh, uh, such type of hr conclave and i also assure you that uh, these are very good efforts and you can continue the management always support you thank you very much thank you sir